All right, Laddie, the Yorkie and I are going to start a new book of the day, Love Me Gently. This is all about the appropriate ways to interact with dogs. And we get to read with some really cuties today. Welcome back again to our Read Across America Week and the National Mill Dog Rescue, reading with some dogs here at the rescue. Hi, my name is Henry, and I'm so excited because my family just adopted a new puppy. We named him Cooper. Having a puppy is fun, but there's a lot for both of us to learn. Most importantly, I love Cooper gently. He will grow into the best dog ever, and I will have a terrific friend. Wow, puppies sure eat a lot. Mom said it's because they're growing up just like me. When Cooper is eating, I stay away from him and his food bowl. He may think I'm trying to take his food and growl at me or even try to bite me. That might hurt. Instead, I wait till he's finished and that makes him happy. It's kind of like if you guys were eating pizza and Cheetos and somebody tried to come up and grab your pizza and Cheetos. So when dogs are eating, we try to just let them eat. Just like me, puppies need to learn lots of new things. We are training Cooper not to potty in the house and to potty outside. If Cooper makes a poo poo, or a pee pee on the carpet. I don't get angry or scold him. That might hurt. Instead, I patiently guide him to where he needs to go and that makes him happy. What do you think? Are you gonna learn how to go potty outside in your forever home? <coughs> Puppies are cute just like me. Cooper is soft and fluffy. He especially likes it when I rub his fluffy tummy. I never pull his ears or his tail, and I don't squeeze him too tight. That might hurt. Instead, I pet him tenderly, and that makes him happy. Yeah. All right, Laddie, we're gonna go learn how to best treat dogs and read to some more puppies in a different kennel. Is that okay? Thanks, Laddie. All right, we've got two friends that wanna learn how people can love them gently. Just like me, puppies have lots of energy. Cooper loves to play, but he gets tired very quickly. When he is very sleepy, I let him rest or even take a nap. I don't poke at him to wake him up. That might hurt. Instead, I wait till he is ready to play again and that makes him happy. So when a dog is sleeping, we, want, we don't want to surprise them or scare them. All right, I'm going to touch Polly nice and gently. Yeah, thank you, Polly. Thank you, Ruthie with your little tongue sticking out. Cooper has baby teeth just like me. Dad says he likes to chew on things to make him feel better. Sometimes Cooper takes my shoes and toys to chew on. If Cooper makes the wrong choice, I don't hit him, that might hurt. Instead, I give him his own toy or puppy bone to chew on, and that makes him happy. Thanks for letting me read to you today. Let's go on to a different kennel and see what the other dogs are up to. <laughs> Corbin! Corbin needs to love me gently. All right, Corbin, let's read how people should treat dogs. 
just like <laughs> just like me puppies are curious about the world around them Cooper especially likes to go on walks in our neighborhood, but he moves a little slow, but I never try to pull him fast. That might hurt. Instead, I walk alongside him, letting him sniff as we explore, and that makes him happy. Yeah, Corbin, we would definitely never want to pull you on a leash. No. <laughs> Puppies love to play like me. <laughs> Cooper likes it. Okay. Puppies love to play like me. Cooper likes it when I toss the ball for him to fetch. I never throw the ball at him. That might hurt. Instead, I toss the ball so he can run to go get it. And that makes him happy. You love to play fetch, Corbin. Thank you for... Oh, yep. What do you want me to tell them? Okay, I'll tell them. Corbin is also available for adoption. And he loves it when people love him gently. Puppies are fast like me. If I leave our door gate open, <gasps> Cooper could escape and run down the street. And that might hurt. Instead, I have to remember to do my part to keep him safe. And that makes him happy. <laughs> All right, Corbin, I'm going to go read to one more doggy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Pete, I'm going to finish reading the story with you. What do you think, Pete the Poodle? Yeah. Puppies are smart like me. They can even learn tricks. Cooper is learning how to sit and stay. Sometimes he gets confused, but I don't want to shout at him. That might hurt. Instead, I nicely ask again or gently show him what to do. I give him a yummy treat or a pat on the head when he does something right, and that makes him happy. Puppies need to eat some special puppy food just for them. I would like to share my favorite foods with Cooper, but it may not be good for him. I could even get him a tummy ache and that might hurt. Instead, I make sure that he only eats his food and not mine, and that makes him happy. My family named Cooper for a very special reason. He wears a dog collar with a name tag at all times. If I take it off and he gets lost, he may not make it back home and that might hurt. Instead, I always leave his collar on so that he will be returned home to my family and that makes him happy, Pete. Just like me, Cooper is growing and learning every day. If I'm kind, patient, and gentle with him, he will become a well-behaved dog. Cooper is my very best friend and a very special part of my family. He loves me as much as I love him, and that makes us both happy. And boys and girls, just a friendly reminder that when you're approaching dogs you don't know, you put out your hand like this, and let them sniff you, and if they're ready for it, you would ask the owner, may I pet your dog? And then pet them gently on the chin or chest. That's gonna make both you and the dog happy. Thank you so much for joining us for another story on Read Across America Week. And those of us at the National Mill Dog Rescue appreciate you watching. Thank you.